Is the Anchor Magnetic Wireless Charging Bank the best power bank for iPhone 12s? Let's take a look at it on the next Mix of Tech. Hey guys, welcome to Mix Tech, where I review technology for the consumer prosumer, and I get my take on the things I see. Today, I've got the Anchor Magnetic Wireless Charging Bank that I've been waiting on for quite a while. And you may be still waiting for it as well, but I will say, hopefully it's coming to you soon. Now, as of this filming in April, it took me a bit of time to get it. So what do I like about the Anchor? It feels solid. It's got a solid rubbery plastic. It's not cheap, but it's not expensive. And I will say that it styles better with my iPhone 12 Pro Max speaking case. This is a 5,000 milliamp battery charge. So for my iPhone 12 Pro Max, it'll charge about 75%. And if you're an iPhone 12 or iPhone 12 Pro, you're gonna get anywhere close to 97%. I found in my actual test, I was anywhere from 65 to 75%. So it's accurate to what I saw. So the other thing that I like about this is that there's some safety measures put into this device. So foreign objects will be protected, short circuits, and also what's great about this is it really doesn't overheat. Even at a full discharge, it was cool to the touch. Another benefit is the brand. The brand has a good reputation. I've had a number of products that have worked well for me. This has an 18 month warranty and something that I feel like is going to last for quite a while. In my charging test, I found that I was averaging about 3.6 watts when I was using the magnetic wireless charger, which is about what is expected from the website. It was saying up to five watts, so 3.6 is pretty reasonable, especially with Qi like charging. I also found that when I was charging from 33 to 80% of my test, I was getting close to two hours to charge. So again, keep that in mind with the 3.6 watts. One of the real cool things that I found on this is with the USB-C, you have this as both an input and output. So input, it charges 11 watts, and then output it to at 10 watts. And I found this to be really remarkable in the speeds that I was getting. When I was testing my USB-C output to my Lightning on my iPhone 12 Pro Max, I was getting anywhere at first at 13 watts. It normalized to seven and a half watts, but that's pretty good speed, especially with a little device like this. So I'm gonna do some comparison with my Kum Digi that I've had for a bit now. If you're interested in the review, check out the video here. Now, when you look at the comparison between the two, definitely there's a size difference and a little bit of a weight difference and a style difference. That's why I really like the Anchor. It fits in really well with my speaking case and almost looks part of the phone. For $39, this is one of the best accessories for your iPhone 12s. And I find that with both having the magnetic wireless charging and being able to have USB-C, this offers a lot of flexibility, not only to charge my phone, but my other USB-C devices. Hope you liked this video. And if you have, make sure to hit the like button. And if you haven't done so already, make sure to subscribe to my channel for more great content like this. Thanks for joining A Mix of Tech.